Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Um, we gradually approach the matrix multiplication uh, definition. Um, gradually, because I, I would like to define it in some special cases, like in this particular case today, I will talk about uh, square 2 by 2 matrices. Um, you see, matrix multiplication is extremely important operation, I told you many times, uh, because it's related to transformation and uh, it's a, a combination of consecutive applications of, the, uh, of different transformations. So if you are uh, applying one transformation and then another, basically it's an equivalent to multiplication of the, of the matrices which um, uh, reflect these transformations. So, um, what we would like to, uh, to, to, to define right now is an operation of multiplication which satisfies this very simple rule. If you take the vector u and apply certain transformation, linear transformation, which is reflected in some matrix A into vector v, then you can say that v is equal to u multiplied by a, or a multiplied by u, it depends on whether it's a row vector or, or column vector, whatever. But then, if you have a next transformation into vector w, then you can say that w is equal to uh, v times b, or a times u, or b times b depending on. Now, what is really important is that the W vector is um, the combination of vector U and matrix A, and then the result is multiplied by matrix B. Or, from the other perspective, it's B times a times u. So, our purpose is to define matrix multiplication A, B, or B, A in these cases such that W is equal to u and then you apply the product of two matrices or in this case you apply the product of two matrices in this way. These must be equivalent. So, consecutive application of A and then B should be equivalent to single application of a product of matrices A and B. So, that's what I would like to, uh, th that's how I would like to define the operation of multiplication. I mean, that's the root of it, that's the understanding what's behind the definition. Because it's very easy to define an operation saying, okay, you do this, this, and this, and this is called the product of two matrices. Why? Well, this is why. We have to satisfy this particular condition so the operation of multiplication is, well, nice, if you wish. Uh, it's convenient to work with and it's really reflecting certain uh, material substance behind this uh, matrix application. The substance being a linear transformation. All right, so keep it in mind, and that's what I'm going to do with two-dimensional um, vectors and two-dimensional matrices, two by two. So we would like to define a two by two matrices product in such a way that these conditions are satisfied. All right, so what we do is we start with a vector u, u1, u2, and matrix first A, which has I, A, J coordinates, and I and J belongs to the interval 1, 2. So it's 2 by 2 matrix. matrix. A, 1, 1, A, 1, 2, A, 2, 1, A, 2, 2. That's how these elements of the matrix uh, A are, uh, are located. Now, then we apply matrix A to the vector u and uh, 
I will multiply it on the left. It's more convenient for me. And I will get the vector V. Now, how vector V is, uh, how coordinates of the vector V are expressed in terms of U and matrix A? Well, this is something which we have already done many times. Uh, that's how coordinates of the vector u are related to coordinates of the vector v using the linear transformation described by the matrix A. So this is given to us. All right. Next what's given is we have the b we have the b matrix and the b matrix will be also expressed as bij and it's also 2 by 2 matrix and i apply this matrix to vector v to get vector w which is related similarly to the v so W1 is equal to B11 V1 plus B12 V2 and W2 is B21 V1 plus B22 V2. Now, what I was talking about before is a relationship between W and U. Can I get in one linear transformation from U to W? If I can, that would be some kind of a matrix C in such a way that C applied to U would give me W. That's what I would like to get. Now, if I will find this particular matrix of linear transformation which will convert U into W then this matrix must actually be called a product of uh, A and B, or, or B and A, depending on. All right? Okay, fine. Easy. Let's do it this way. Instead of V, we'll substitute this. Instead of B1, instead of V2, we'll substitute this. And let's see what happens. So it's B11 times A11U1 plus A12 u2 plus b12 uh, v2 v2 is this a21 u1 plus a22 u2 now w2 is equal to b21 the same thing here plus b22 a21 u1 plus a22 u2 okay now we just have to combine u1 and u2 to get something reasonable right so let me just wipe out this thing So what I will get is W1 is equal to something multiplied by U1. Now what is multiplied by U1? B11 A11, B11 A11, B12 A21. U1 and u2 would be b11 a12 plus b12 a222 okay 
W2 equals 2. Similarly, B21, A11 plus B22, A12, A21. U1 plus. Now with U2, I have B12, A12, A, B21, A12, B21, A12, and uh, B22, A22. Okay, that's all I need right now. So, if I'm looking for a transformation from from vector u to vector w with some matrix C, then these are my coefficients, right? I already expressed it this way. So C11 is this, C12 is this, C1221 is this, and C22 is this. So this is basically a definition of my multiplication. Because since W is equal to B times V, B is matrix, V is vector, V in turn is equal to A times u, a is matrix, u is vector. On another hand, I have that w is equal to c u. So it's very natural where c is expressed in these ways. So it's very natural to say that c is equal to b times a because that would actually give me exactly what I want, meaning that the product of two matrices is a one single transformation which combines in itself two transformations consecutively applied first a and then b okay and this is a definition of this multiplication so how can i find out what is in a two by two case by the way we are all two by two cases a b and c are, are all matrices with two rows two columns how to find the coefficient c11 this how so that's how the matrix b is multiplied by matrix a the each particular element of the matrix c which is the product is defined by using these definitions but let's take a little closer look at these definitions um, look at this c11 equals 2 B11 A11 plus B12 A21. Okay, let's think about how it looks. We don't need any more of this. All we need is this definition. Let me write it down. B11, B12, B21, B22. This is my matrix B. And I'm multiplying it by matrix A. And I'm getting C11, C12, C21, C22 right so c11 is equal to b11 times a11 plus b12 times a21 so i'm taking the first row and the first column and notice this element index is 1 1 now I will use um, the following uh, notation for the 
row vector, let's say the first row vector B, I will use B1 and then I'll put an asterisk and this is a vector, which means B11, B12. And uh, the column vectors where the second index actually, the column index is the same, but the first one is changing. I will use this notation, star one in this case. So what I can say is the following. This is equal to B1 asterisk, which is the first row uh, vector, scalar product, because this is looking actually like a scalar product of two vectors, right? B11 and B21 are components of one vector, and A11 and A21 are components of another vector. Which one? This vector. So I'm taking the first row multiply by first column vector. So again, the C11 equals to scalar product of the combination of a scalar product of a first row vector and, and first column vector. Similarly, C12 is equal to C12 is equal to uh, B12 a uh, one two stop no C one two is equal to B one one A two one plus B uh, one two A two Uh, the first column 2 2 right which is equal to this is the formula one of those which I have wiped out um, I, I shouldn't really but that, that's what it is which is b1 asterisk row the first row vector and the second column of the A matrix so again, you see these one one and this is one one. This is one two. This is one two, and same thing will be with, for for for, uh, for two one, which is the second row B two one, and the first column A one plus B two two A. Uh, Two one equals to B two asterisk times A asterisk one. Again, indices of the product element here correspond to row vector and column vector of the components. And finally, the third one is, I mean, the fourth one is, it would be second row from the B and second column from the A, which is B, two, one, second row, and second A, one, two, plus B, two, two, A, two, two, which is B times A second row vector and second count vector. So that's the rule which I actually would like um, you to notice that whenever we are multiplying two by two matrix by two by two matrix, we get two by two matrix, and the each component of this two by two matrix, which is the product with indices ij where both i and j can be either one or two is equal to i's row of the b matrix row vector scalarly multiplied by uh, j's column vector from the matrix A. 
And this represents multiplication of two matrices. So that's my final result for today, which I would like actually you to remember because this would be applicable to anything else. So if you would like to have an element ij of the product of two matrices, then you have to take the i's row vector of the first matrix and multiply it as a scalar product to j's vector, uh, a, row, a column vector of the, of, of the second component of the product. So what I'm going to do, my plan is, to show that this rule is exactly the same for three by three matrix, that would be the next lecture. And then based on this, I will define, basically I will do exactly what many teachers do from the very beginning. They're saying, okay, this is a definition. These formulas are the definition of the multiplication and they don't explain why. But why is very important. Why is the reason behind this is that the multiplication of B times A should really produce exactly the same transformation as consecutive application of A and then B to the vector. Whatever the vector is, doesn't really matter. doesn't depend on the vector. So that's, that's basically the result of this lecture, which I would like to extend in the next lectures into a full definition of the product of any two matrices, not necessarily square and not necessarily two by two or three by three, by three etc. Okay. Don't forget that Unisor.com has not only this lecture, but also notes for this lecture. And uh, for those uh, students who uh, register, um, obviously you can have uh, exams taken and uh, um, you can have your supervisor um, registered as your supervisor to basically enroll you or make some uh, into some courses or uh, mark certain courses as completed if uh, he or she is satisfied with your exams. Um, so basically it's like an educational process which um, which you can get engaged with the help of your supervisors, teachers, maybe, or parents. Um, so that's it for today. I do recommend you to read the notes again because they are uh, in relatively better order than I put it on the de uh, on, on, uh, on the board. Um, and uh, well, and then uh, attend my next lectures, uh, which are related to other aspects of ma matrix multiplication. It's very, very important operation, the most, oper the most important operation on matrices. That's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.